These trees and waves are a sign. Ian is on the way. But that's not enough to move Daniel Birch. For a few more hours, fishing at Davis Shores is all that matters. I only evacuated once, and that was back in 99 for uh, Floyd. Like many homeowners in the neighborhood, Birch is ready for Ian. Storms have a history of flooding this area. Folks here are under an evacuation order that takes effect at 6 a.m. Wednesday. I really was not going to leave. A risk Lynn Stecker is not taking. If my city officials ask me to leave, I will do my duty and leave. But Tom isn't going anywhere. If Irma didn't force him out the neighborhood, he's confident Ian won't either. If it shifts more toward like a Matthew kind of storm, then I'll leave, but Irma kind of storm, no. Tom is taking a chance on himself. No sandbags. I'm not putting my window stuff on. I need new windows. The county officials are worried about storm surge and rain. I'm, I'm very cautious, but I'm also very prudent and very you know, uh, pragmatic about things, and it's not an issue. We'll see what Ian's going to do. It's only a matter of time. In St. Augustine, Tristan Hardy, First Coast News, on your side.